Shall we begin? Remember to perform extractions in the hood and wear gloves. For extractions, you will need a separatory funnel. Don't forget your stopper and stopcock. In this example, the stopper clearly leaks. You'll want to test and find another stopper that doesn't leak before you begin your extraction. Set the separatory funnel in the ring stand. With the beaker underneath and the stopcock closed, you can begin to add your solvents. First, we'll add our aqueous layer, and then the organic layer. Cap the separatory funnel, and then shake it. Repeat, this is not a drill. Point the tip of the separatory funnel inside the hood while you vent it. Keep shaking and venting a few more times. Now it's time to collect your layers. Use two Erlenmeyer flasks, one labeled organic and the other labeled aqueous. Place your Erlenmeyer flask underneath the separatory funnel and remove the stopper. If you forget to take off the stopper and open the stopcock, then a vacuum will be created inside of the separatory funnel and the liquid won't flow out. With the stopper removed, carefully turn the stopcock to begin the flow of liquid. In this case, the bottom layer is aqueous. Oh, shall. shall we begin? When you get towards the end of the layer, carefully close the stop cup. Now begin to drain the second layer. Now, add the aqueous layer back into the separatory funnel. Add some new clean organic solvent and repeat the process of shaking, venting, and collecting. Sometimes during extraction, you might get what's called an emulsion, a dispersion of two normally immiscible solvents in the form of droplets. If you have an emulsion in your separatory funnel, try clearing it up by making quick, fast swirls. You could also try adding some sodium chloride solution. Make sure the emulsion is cleared up before you try separating your layers. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill.